A Chandler teenager lost both her parents to complications of coronavirus. They were well known boosters for the Chandler High School swim and dive team. It is another blow to the swimmers who are still reeling from the loss of their coach to COVID this summer. Heartbreaking for that girl losing both of your parents. I can't even imagine. This morning, the pool over at Chandler High School will be dedicated, uh, and it is a definitely a hard time for these swimmers. Maria is joining us live, and this Chandler community coming together to pay tribute. They sure are, ladies, and we are here at Chandler High School. It's been five months of really heartache for this whole entire close swim team. So behind me, you can see we have about 150 chairs socially distanced and spaced out. This is for the dedication that's happening here for their head coach, Carrie, who died back in July because of COVID-19. So I wanna show you, there's a tarp here. This pool really didn't have a name for it, but soon at 10.20 a.m., we're told those tarps are gonna come down and we'll, we'll officially see Coach Carrie's name here at the pool. So uh, you can see they also have just a background right here, the microphones as well. Chandler is going to be having this program streamed live online. So for those who are not able to make it, you are able to participate. We know that uh, Coach Carey's wife, she is going to be one of the speakers here. And really the mood is somber, uh, but so important for this team to get together. So I want to introduce you to the Booster Club Vice President, this is Rachel. It's been such a tough couple months for these swimmers. What did Coach Carey mean to these kids and what have you witnessed over the last few months? Mm -hmm. You know, Carey really created a sense of um, home here at the school for so many kids. I think he was one of the only coaches that kept the pool open for rookies to jump on and for a D1 school it was had a major impact on freshmen coming in and the rapport he built with the kids to always encourage them to have fun. He built such a wonderful sense of community here at Chandler. And how are the kids doing and, and just, it's, it's gotta have been super tough. You know, it's been a really difficult few months for the kids, you know, it was really difficult to process. Um, the loss of Coach Crosswhite especially in light of COVID and not being able to hug and touch and process together over the summer. Um, and then here again recently this week, you know, we've had another blow to the team. The kids are, the kids are struggling through it. And so let's talk about yeah. the Vasquez family. Yeah. I know that you work closely with Tony Vasquez. That's yeah. uh, Brisa's father, who was the Booster Club here, president. Um, I mean, just happened this week. It did. Gosh. What do you, what can you, how can you comfort your daughter? I know your daughter's on the, the team and how are you, how is the team coming together besides this ceremony to really sure. show uh, Brisa's support? You know, they've, they've carried on um, Coach Crosswhite's legacy in terms of continuing to build that community and it's provided an opportunity for these kids to really step up and kind of fill that gap, which is really difficult to watch them struggle through. Um, the school has done a really good job in terms of bringing in a crisis team and um, the coaches and the rest of the booster club and the swim community have really come and started to support, continue to support the Crosswhite family as well as the Vasquez family. And it's I know the Vasquez family probably won't make it out here tonight or this morning, but what do you want Brisa to know? You know, the, the message that Brisa probably already feels is how much the swim team loves her and how much her parents loved her. Her dad worked tirelessly here at the pool for her for four years. And um, they just, they loved her so much. And it's really difficult today to be here without the Vasquez family to support. You know, Tony was Crosswhite's right hand man. And well, thank you for being strong and being yeah. a spokesperson for yeah. the swim team. Again, you're taking a live look out here as family, friends, swim team members start to show up. I wanna know everybody is wearing masks. They are being very strict about social distancing with the chairs. And again, this ceremony gets underway at 10 o'clock this morning. I do wanna note there are some goggles placed on the fence. You can't see it from where we're standing, but definitely uh, this day dedicated to Coach Carey 
and his legacy. He's been a coach here at Chandler High School since 2002. Again, the district, you can hear they're uh, getting the mic check right now. They want to make sure that he is honored in a very special way. I have that link to this live stream up on my Twitter page, at Maria Hechenova, if anyone wants to tune in. But definitely the swim team community is super tight. And ladies, uh, this is what's happening here this morning. Back so devastating and, and such a, a year of loss for so many. Thank you, Maria, for that. I mean, can you imagine losing both your parents and then your coach? You're <sighs> losing your coach to COVID and then both your parents. 17 years old, and you have so much excitement to look forward to in life. And, and it sounds like the swim team's really wrapping their arms around her. Wrapping around is what we must do during this time. Thank you.